This has got to be one of the most underrated tractor attachments that you can add to your tractor. This is the install video for the 15 series ROPS models, so the non-cab versions. This is going to be for 15 series TYM and Branson models, and then 40 series bad boy models. Now, it's a rear lever that operates your three-point. This is really helpful when you're hooking up attachments so that you don't have to go around into the cab of the tractor to run your three-point lever on the inside. Everything nice and handy back here where you can get to it. Now these are model and cab or non-cab specific, so you can look at our website and see the differences between them. These kits are super simple to install. We make these as a DIY kit. They come with all the hardware and you can get them on our website. I'll drop a link to that in the description. So this is exactly how it's gonna come in the box. And the tools you're gonna need for install are gonna be half inch wrenches, a three quarter inch socket, half inch socket, a driver, and Phillips short, stubby Phillips screwdriver. So on these tractors, you're needing to get back here to this three point lever. So you might be able to get to it without removing this plate but we're gonna go ahead and remove that plate so it's easy to show you how we're installing this. And the plate's not bad, it's just taking off that handle and then taking off four uh, 12 millimeter bolts holding the plate to the frame. So when we tighten this down, we're gonna wanna slide this up towards that crease right there. About right there is where you're gonna wanna tighten it down. So all this hardware is in there exactly how it should go when you install it back on the tractor. So pay attention where all of your washers and your, especially your plastic washers are when you, when you disassemble this. All right, the next thing you're gonna have to install is the clamp that goes around the ROPS that serves as the pivot point for the lever. But a lot of these ROPs are going to have a wiring harness running down the front of it. And this is like a C-clamp. So what you're going to have to do is take these tabs and bend the tabs around the ROPs. And you could break these tabs off if you want to, but you can just bend these around the ROPs and then just flatten them down the best you can. Once you get them flattened down around like this, then you can put the C-clamp on.
So with that front mount, you can snug it down just kind of as close as you can to this 90 degree bend. You can go ahead and tighten it up. When you get this clamp put on, leave it kind of loose so we can fit up the linkage bar and then we'll make sure that everything's lining up correctly and then we'll cinch that down later. So you're gonna make sure to put the nylon washer in first on that stud and then slide that linkage bar, then a washer and then the nylock nut. So next we're gonna go ahead and fit up the handle. Again, put that nylon washer in there first. It's really important to make sure that you can get that tension correctly. So when this bar is just kind of roughly level, that's where you want to set this clamp at. This doesn't have to be perfect. There's, there's enough tolerance here where this could be mounted a little high or a little low. So everything's fit up, so now we just need to snug down all three of our pivot points. Now the two linkage pivot points, so this one he's tightening down now, and the one there at the front aren't as critical, but you wanna make sure that the nylock nut gets tightened on enough that it engages the nylon. But just don't over tighten, or it'll make your entire mechanism a little too stiff. Last thing we need to do is take that three quarter and torque that main pivot point down. Now this one's the most critical. So we want this to be tight enough to where this lever is not going to drift itself down as you're operating the tractor, but not so tight that it makes it hard to move the lever up and down. And that's it. Last thing you got to do is just put your access panel back on and your grip and you've got a functioning rear three-point lever.